Hello, everybody. I'm Louisa Blumeris. I'm from Stellenbosch, um, working for Agricultural Research Council, and we focus on agricultural crop and indigenous crops that um, grow in the Western Cape, but not only limited to the Western Cape, but primarily in the Western Cape. We talk about deciduous fruit, we talk about wines and vines, we talk about rooibos tea, honeybush tea, and your indigenous proteaceae flowers. So, yeah, it's been cultivated in the Western Cape, but um, there's lots and lots of um, challenges when you farm. And one of the challenges is to have the correct cultivar, and that's where we come in. We breed and develop new cultivars. Um, a lot of cultivars nowadays are imported, but the problem is South Africa's climate, soil um, environment differs from the um, countries from where cultivars are imported. So they must be evaluated here as well. The advantage the AOC has is that we breed in the environment that the cultivars must grow. And that is a big privilege that our cultivars has, is adapted to the area, and yeah, we can continue from there and produce nice cultivars in apples, pears, and nectarines, peaches, grapes. Yeah, and also on the rooibos tea and the honeybush tea, we do called, um, plant improvement there. The skills we need when you breed is not only breeding. You have tools in your toolbox to do the breeding. We are a group of conventional breeders, so we physically do the poly pollinations by hand. We take the parent of the female pollen from a cultivar, from the one, put it on the female um, part of the um, female parent, and then nature must do its thing. Um, the, po uh, the pollen grow down the um, tubes and um, fertilization ex um, happens. And then we wait and we harvest the seeds after the fruit are ripe. And then the big work starts. Because then it takes years and years of evaluation. First, you've got a single seed, single um, gene plaza, or single genetic combination. And from there, you select the most pr um, promising uh, selections, and then you start evaluating and propagating, making more, do more intense uh, evaluations. But the most important one, after nice color and um, good taste, is storability. Our fruit must be exported to countries around the world. So they must last in storage and they must be um, able to handle transport by ship or by air, wherever in the world they're going. So we need to build that into our selection criteria. So after about 27, 29 years of evaluation, a cultivar is ready to go to the farmer and from the um, it get cultivated, yeah. And then we work on rooibos tea and honeybush tea. And since it's indigenous crops, there's not a lot of development on that um, front yet. So we have to start at the basics of how do I cultivate, propagate, once I find something that I like and want to multiply that. And last but not the least is our indigenous flowers. And I'm very proud of working with our indigenous flowers. Um, it's maybe not the largest industry, but I think it's the most beautiful industry to work in. My 